So here we are with match 28 South Korea up against Mexico. South Korea will start like this Jin Hyung in goal, Jong Ho, Yong Guan, Tai Hui, Ki He, Kyun Ho, Seong Jeng, Zhao Chol, Sun Hyung Ming, and Dong Won, and Shin Wook. As for Mexico, they will start like this Ochoa in goal, Reyes, Leon, Moreno, Ayala, Fabian, Herrera, Guadado, Aquino. Hernandez and Carlos Vela up front. So match number 28 about to start. Looks like South Korea will get the match underway in the traditional red jerseys up against Mexico in what's say slight looking green. This match will take place in the real world, in the real hemisphere, or whatever. On the 23rd of June, it will take place at the Rostov Arena, which is at Rostov on Don. And at first early shot of the match. Uh, over the years, these two sides have met quite a few times. In fact, this will be the 15th time that these two sides have come a cropper. As Mexico start peppering the Korean goal. Mexico have won seven of the of the, the, the matches between Korea and themselves and obviously and, and, and South Korea have won six of them only one has ended in a tie last time that these two sides met look at this hot scotching around here by Mexico but the last time that they, these two sides met was all the way back 2014 in a friendly Mexico 4-0 winners and you have to go back all the way to 2006 the last time Korea picked up a cheeky victory that was a 1-0 in a uh, also in a friendly the first time that these two sides met on record, according to my uh, statistics anyway, was all the way back in 1980. And that was a friendly and it was a victory for Korea. So very evenly matched over history. So I, I, and I actually can see this game being a, a, a close one as Mexico pile on a nasty looking foul. And that will be it's a straight red for Reyes. Mexico are down to 10 men. The ref's not having any of it. And he makes the long, long walk. And it does give a bit of a slight advantage now for Korea. Can they take advantage with a free kick? Here they go. Played it short. Turns and shoots. Lovely passing. I just can't get that final shot in there. So this will be interesting to see. They have the majority of the game, uh, uh, South Korea, to take advantage of being one man up. But maybe how long will that last? It's another nasty looking foul. But he gets away with it. Free kick though from Mexico. Turns and shoots. Come on. Breaks it down. Here come Korea. Oh, Mexico opening up the floodgates with shots. So let's let's turn the clock back to the last matches in this group, which is in Group F, which also includes Germany and Sweden. Mexico continue to pile on some pressure on the keeper despite being a, a man down. But Mexico opened up with a 2-1 defeat to Germany. As for Korea, they also suffered a defeat 1-0 to Sweden. So they need to both sides looking to get themselves on the score sheet. And look at that. Mexico take the lead despite being down to 10 men. Mexico got their noses in front with a pearl of a strike. And we'll get the name of the scorer in just a second. It's Carlos Vela. I think that could be his second of the tournament thus far. Gets him right in the mix with the other top goal scorers. So Korea, despite being a man up, there are one plus one goal down. Uh, so defeat to either side. Let me do do some uh, observations here. But defeat for South Korea. If the result was to stay like this, they would be on zero points. Mexico would be on three. Germany would be on three. And Sweden would be on three. And those two sides will meet in the next match. And a win. Well, no. They would still be in it. But it will be a tall order for Korea to get themselves uh, into the qualify, into the knockout phase. So they need to take care of this one-man advantage and and find uh, find a goal. And they've yet to do that. They've yet to open up the scoring. Mexico did find the back of the net against Germany, but uh, so that little hoodoo was 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 gone quite early. As they're dancing around here, does not look like they're down to ten men. Korea really need to start finding some space and some holes and create some chances. Um, that's a good pass, but. Can, they can't that final that final part of the field they just can't do it as we roll towards the last 
30 seconds. Oh, there they go. They're off the score. They've finally broke the deadlock. Their hoodoo is gone. It's 1 1. And now Korea can really start to plan and chip away and maybe get another goal in the second half. As uh, it's 1 1. Uh, Jay Dong Wong. I say Jay. It could be could be John. John Dong Wong scores. 1 1. So South Korea with 11 up against Mexico with 10 men. It's 1 1. This result would keep both sides in it. Um, I think a defeat for Mexico. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard. It's hard when there's still one game of the round to go. But Mexico still peppering the goal and still in this game despite being down 10 minutes. I keep saying that. I keep reiterating it. These two sides are evenly matched. Nice little cheeky little pass, but doesn't come of it. If you're new to this channel, we do play two four-minute halves, and the first half is just about done. We are now into extra time, and there's your lot. 1-1, one, one, folks. So an action-packed first half with two goals and a sending off. Mexico will get the second half underway as they look for the all-important, the elusive third goal of the match. Where will it go? Mexico have proven that they can score even being down to 10 men and that is another dirty foul and it could level the playing field but the ref keeps the cards in his pocket free kicks floated in there dealt with by Korea looking for uh, some options that's a nice little cheeky pass create some space and they put it out of bounds Mexico with a free at the throw in nice again here comes Korea Nice control. And that is kept in play. Run down the line by Mexico. Eventually goes out for a throw in for Mexico. These two sides have also met. Just you know, they have they it does appear that they've 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 met a lot of times over the years, but they have met in the World Cup on one other occasion and that was all the way back in 1998 in France and it was mm, it was Mexico the 3-1 winners can they do it again in Russia we'll have to wait and see Mexico now trying to keep their dreams alive it would be it would be a it would be a turn up for the books if they were to come out of here. Victor's being down to ten men, but that was a, probably the best effort of the second half. So into the last two minutes and something seconds, still trying to find that elusive third goal. Both sides kind of grinding each other out a little bit. Korea not really taking advantage of the extra body. This will be a throw in though for Korea. Deep into the Mexican half. Can they take advantage? Mate, oh, that is the passing is pity piss poor by Korea today. Mexico now with a throw in. It's a little better. But no, here come Korea now trying to chip away back. Snyder's in there. Loses possession right at the money shot. Here come Mexico. Oh, that's a nice bit of play. Create some space in the middle of the park. Can you get it forward? No. Here come Korea. Broken up by Mexico, who do who are defending very, very sensibly. If he could get a pass, he can. Get a bit of space. Has a shot. Keeper collects it. Not sure who I fancy to qualify from this group besides Germany. Korea look a little toothless Sweden they could do it obviously they picked up a win against South Korea but the game against Mexico could could prove pivotal but they have to come against Germany first and they still might upset the flow here comes Mexico trying to uh, cause a bit of a shock being down to 10 men and that will go out for a throw in for Mexico we are now into the final minute of the match. Deep, deep, deep into the final minute of the match. There's actually about 35 seconds to go. Throw in. It's kept in play. Good chance for a shot if he can get it. No, broken up. Looks like this match might peter out to a draw. 
uh, Mexico. That would be a, a credit to Mexico, who have had to play pretty much the whole match down to 10 men. Is there any? Oh, golly. Free kick now for Korea. Turns, shoots. Great save by Ochoa. Keeps Mexico in the tournament, that does, as the eight minute mark has been reached. Referee will have the whistle in his mouth. And another nasty foul. Mexico really dirty today. They're lucky. Lucky to have only 10 men on the field. They, they could be down to nine. Free kick is taken. Go on, have a shot. Go on, have a shot. Oh, shot, but it's over. South Korea won, Mexico won. So, recap the stats. Look at that. Six shots on target for Mexico. One went in the back of the net. Five. Only one shot for South Korea. And that little bad boy went in the back of the net. As for the fouls, let's look at them. Look at that. Uh, straight red for Carlos. No, these are the goal scorers. Let's take a look at the goal scorers. Carlos Vela opens up the scoring. And then Jing Dong Wan opened uh, up the account for the, for the tournament for South Korea. How about the discipline? Look at that, straight red, Reyes on oh, one minute, 24 seconds. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.